every project I approach differently uh, because your job is always different. How you function in the context of the movie, what your role is, what you have to bring to it. But the one thing that's fairly consistent is I, I find myself, if there's any through line in my choices uh, about projects I choose to do, it has a lot to do with the director. Um, because uh, that defines the project, and I'm usually interested in, in movies that have a personal stake, and I often find that's more the case with a, a director, a writer-director, for example, uh, that has a very particular vision than a person who um, enjoys just, not just, but uh, applying their craft uh, in a kind of career situation which is part of it, um, and sometimes you've got to mix it up, but basically that's, that's one consistent thing that I notice about my choices. My background in the theater, I mean, I still do theater, um, less than when I had a company that I was with the Wooster Group in New York for almost 30 years. Um, that, that shaped who I am as an actor, and I think that uh, in the most crude way that taught me the difference between uh, doing and showing <laughs> as an actor. And I think I, I grew up being a task-oriented actor. I was in a, a the an unconventional avant-garde theater where we didn't always work with literature and psychology. We worked with events and being part of, um, you know, a tapestry that embraced all aspects of a production, light, sound, music, dance. It was less traditional. So that really shaped me and actually made, it was good training for the movies because it keeps you very loose and also it makes you embrace the technical respects uh, of, of filming that sometimes uh, more traditional actors aren't afforded because once they once a, a play is scored out and they know what their performance is, they're in the driver's seat. Where on a film, always on some level, you have to take in the other elements. Look, inside of us are all characters, I think. We're all capable of all behavior. So one of the pleasures of playing a character is to take on a different point of view, to take on different thoughts, take on different habits, and which by its very nature, challenges yours, <laughs> your identity, but also plays around with certain kind of uh, societal moral judgments. And sometimes you can, if you really invest in those characters, not to explain away psychologically why they do what they do. I think that's, that's not so interesting, but really um, to, because then, then you're kind of demonstrating something you know, you're trying to, uh, you're, it's, it's less mysterious, less interesting. I think it's more interesting to take on a different set of thinking and believe in that. So basically, whether you're playing a, a, a sweet person like Bobby in the uh, Florida Project, when I was playing him, I didn't know he was a sweet guy. I was just trying to be a f good hotel manager. Or when I'm playing uh, a villainous character, I'm not thinking about how villainous they are. I'm just trying to think how, how, how they make through their day and where they find their pleasures and where they have their disappointments. And, you know, it's, it's sort of, you, you can't have judgments about who you're playing. You know, sometimes the most difficult things are the most rewarding because they turn the fire up and they put you in a, a place where, you know, you're forced to rise to the occasion. So uh, difficult is a hard, is a, is a funny word because usually the difficult things are the most rewarding things. Um, but in the context of the question, Difficult is probably when you don't have those things, when you don't, when the things are more kind of normal and aren't as dramatic or aren't as um, uh, extreme. Uh, I think sometimes it's difficult to, when, when you find 
you, you're in the middle of a role and you don't feel challenged or you don't feel like enough is required of you. Not from an egotistical point of view, but just that you never quite get going. You never find the engagement. You never get to a place where you quite wake up because it doesn't seem necessary. It doesn't seem necessary because the role doesn't require you, you to have that shift, that transformation, that kind of uh, dramatic event. I saw The Witch, which was uh, Robert Eggers' first film and a first feature. And I saw it under the best circumstances because I didn't know anything about it. I basically just walked into Angelica Theater in, in New York to watch this movie that I knew nothing about. And I watched it and I entered that world so easily. And it was a period world, a world that I don't live in and I really don't know much about. And I thought, wow, this is a skilled filmmaker. This is, this is very interesting. This, whoever made this film, I want to meet them. So I arranged that. We met each other. We found a lot of uh, common ground, a lot of common thinking, some, even some common background. And we kind of pledged to work with, with each other. So uh, one day he calls me up and says, uh, I have the project. Here it is. It's you and Rob Pattinson, yes or no. It was that simple. And I read the script. It had beautiful language. I wanted to do those things. I had a good sense of, of the adventure of shooting it. I knew it would be difficult, but I knew it would be the right kind of challenges, ones that uh, I was interested in. So I was happy to do it. Well, when I read the script, it's a very articulate script. Uh, doesn't talk so much about intention or psychology uh, because the narrative is quite simple, but the events kind of explain themselves. And the, the language in it, because um, I'm quite chatty in it, uh, at least for uh, definitely the first part, and I have these beautiful long speeches, and it's 1890s, and it's in, written in a kind of dialect, you know, kind of freely borrowed. It has the taste of Melville. <laughs> um, and there's an accent. I, I was attracted to that, that writing because it was full of images and references that were very evocative. And also, it was written in a very musical way. It wasn't uh, regular, prosaic, you know, uh, common, everyday language in any period. It was elevated. It was poetic. And I thought, what a beautiful thing, because that accomplishes so much in the context of the action of what we're doing. And the Images are beautiful, and not very often do you get to do that in a, um, in a film, to deal with that language, and then root it in the reality, not make it a show, because this is a realistic film, basically. Um, so that challenge to take that poetic and theatrical language and root it uh, was one of the things that interested me. The burial scene was very uncomfortable, because they were burying me. And they had this idea that they would throw regular dirt on my body, and then when they got to my face, they would have some mixture of, you know, cake crumbs or whatever. But that wasn't working out so much. It was too difficult to control the shovelfuls, and I said, just bring it on. So my memory of that is eating a lot of dirt <laughs> and trying to keep my breath and trying to keep my calm because it's quite claustrophobic. No acting required. Um, it was difficult, but once again, that's the kind of difficulty that you, that you invite because it really um, puts your feet to the fire. It really uh, forces you to be there and the, the things that you're feeling in actuality, you, you are able to uh, channel into the, the character's experience. First day on location, I, all I could think is how beautiful it was and how perfect it was. They built a very beautiful lighthouse in all the outbuildings. Uh, the, the production design on this is incredible. Um, classic thing of you couldn't tell what was real and what was invented because it was all invented, but it had such a good sense of place just in how it was placed in the landscape and how it was done that that was a place to move into. That world was really complete. And 
God knows, and uh, performers, you know, they they do their best work. I think when when they're given a good setup and given really strong challenges. And certainly, when I saw the set, I thought, oh yeah, this is this is going to be hell, but uh, hell to do because it's not going to be easy. But it's a heaven because the the challenges and all the materials were there to make something beautiful. Mm -hmm.